Hello Photoshop lovers, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to design this social media poster inside of Photoshop. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications if you miss any video I'll be dropping after this time around. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on file and new. I'm going to impute the name here. And um, yeah, so this is social media flyer like this. And I'm just going to make this four by five and resolution stays at 300 inches and create. Right. So click on solid adjustment and adjustment um, and click on solid color. And I'm just going to use the this color. Let me tilt towards the green because I'm going to work in with the greens and I'm going to use something like this. This is the color code you can copy and use for yours to click OK when you're done. All right. So with this done, the next thing I'm going to do is go over to my resource file. The link to the resource file of this video is in the description of the video alongside many other things that you can take advantage of. So I'm just going to reduce this size before I click enter to place it. So I'm just going to turn it off because I'm not going to use it for now. I'm going to revert this as my foreground color. This is the color code and click OK. So what you need to do is go over to your ellipse tool, draw a perfect circle like this here, right? And uh, position it somewhere around here. Right, somewhere around here is good. Now what you should then do after this is make a duplicate copy of this guy. So um, Ctrl G, does that for you right so this is the duplicate copy for this one i'm just going to tone down the green like this so this is lighter and this is darker right so on this one i'm going to go and select linear dodge add on this one i'm going to go and select vivid light so starting with this one i'm going to go over to filter and click on blow like this so it's going to be gaussian blow here yeah. So I'm going to use this radius, copy my settings, turn this on and um, make sure it's selected. Uh, let me just change the color to something a little bit darker, I guess. Yeah, something around here and click OK. So go over to filter and blow and brush and blow and use my settings again for this all right so somewhere around here is good click okay like this so i'm going to turn this on now now this image seems to be um just um it's unreal because of course when you have lights at the background of course you shouldn't it should um light up the image itself or you should have that um reflection of light so the first thing you need to do is click on mask select your brush like this and uh, make sure you're using um, this brush here, All right? So that's what I'm going to use. So make the brush big. Of course, the bracket key beside the letter P on your keyboard. So I'm going to conceal this part here like this, okay? Great. Click on the image, not the mask, the image itself. Go to camera raw filter. And let's try and make this image pop. Right? So increase the texture like this. And uh, turn up the clarity like this. And of course, reduce the highlights, not too much. Increase the contrast. And of course, Increase the shadows like this and um, tilt towards the green here to give it that green tint that we need to start things up. Okay, so we have this image like this now, better off than we had it before. And uh, let's go over to adjustment layer. Now click on color balance, right click on this and clip it on the image, right? So it affects only the image. So tilt towards the green, but not too much. 
and the highlights also tilt towards the green make sure you're not doing too much for the shadows instead of going towards the green please add blue to make it realistic just like this okay so uh hue and saturation click this to the image itself again and uh this time okay not hue and saturation please sorry about that uh i think yes you're using exposure now create clipping mask for the exposure and um, copy my settings for this make it darker like this so we have but not too dark right somewhere around here is cool so invert the mask or better still leave the mask like that right now select your brush and only paint on areas where you want the light to be revealed make sure you're working on the mask and your foreground color is black right so i'm just going to reduce my brush and um, paint around areas like this to reveal the light areas now this is the fastest way to create a dodge and burn effect on any image right so um reduce your flow and um we can get basic when i mean basic we can also add lights where it's been reflected on on the dress too on the face on the face like this and um you might want to tone this down just a little bit like this okay so um if you've not gotten your smart designer premium assets uh now is the best time to get it you have templates you have template flyers 100 template flyers png and of course your background and also you have your uh psd flyers that you can also get your sci-fi psd pack and also you have your coral draw templates for your designs uh, these are templates that you can use to make your work easy and fast right um let's come back to uh design itself so we have our image like this and um, the next thing you should do is click on adjustment layer solid color this time use this color this is the color code and click ok the next thing you should do you should know by now is you need to clip it on the image so right click on this part here and click on create keeping mask and uh, change the blend mode to overlay yes you guessed right click on the mask and uh, ctrl i to invert it right so what you basically be doing now is use a brush to paint so i'm just going to turn this up to 100 and make sure that since you're working on a black this part should be white so you can see i'm painting gradually make sure you're not doing too much right and uh on these areas like this uh ctrl z when you make a mistake and um ctrl z like i said or you make a mistake like that on these areas you can um, revert your color to black to clean some areas out of it so and on these areas also you can see how i reduce my flow so that i can paint in on these areas like this you understand so that that green is not too sharp right so um on areas like this i'm going to come closer to this part here and i'm going to put in some green to here on this part this part these beards and uh areas like this also okay so areas like this you can go in depth with things so this is before and after you can see major improvements right so the next thing you want to do is as it is like this we are almost um halfway done adjustment solid color again click ok but this time i'm going to use something different linear dodge add also click the mask on the same image click here to invert its control i and um, 
click on blending options hold down your alt key while you break this slider like this and click ok right so selecting your mask go to your brush and uh, you want to add some extra light here make sure this is set to 100 and you can start painting this in now these are the areas that um, you need intensity in lights right areas like this it's very important that when you're doing um, your lighting you're not doing too much right um, just follow the flow of natural lights like this and like this like this and uh, easy like this up here and of course on this area especially this beard region the lights will hit it a lot right and um, there you go so you can tone this down if it is too much like this but i'm going to leave mine like this before and after you can see how much difference this has made okay so let's uh let's move on from this so you can select all of them and group them and um, name this image so you don't have too many things going on in your layers so create a new layer here and with your brush selected the same color the same green create lights effects here by just clicking in one one and um, change this to screen please okay so you have this so you have this night a nice light effect um, so looking nice and uh, let's fix this so we need to fix this nose area right so what we need to do is go back into the image and see um, this is it you can see why it's very important for you to um, group your layers and arrange them well so make your brush smaller and uh, revert the color back to black the foreground color so that you can cancel some areas turn this back on and um, you're good to go okay so um go over to the first file i took our time to do this inside of um adobe illustrator so that we don't um, okay so this is the logo first so i'm just gonna put this orimo logo up so um and uh oh sorry about that so put this up here like this that's the logo okay so all right more up here and um the next thing you should do is go back to research file again and bring this inside this is a now plane i created this inside of adobe illustrator where you can use Curl draw if you have your curl draw software for this right so that is not to say you cannot create it inside here so whichever way works best for you you can do it yourself so um click on this now plane uh or this guy here and uh, make a duplicate copy and put it here take it up so that you can see it well so just position this here well so ctrl t and um, rotate it like this so it sits perfectly on it this way make it bigger and when you don't click enter like this well it's white so you cannot hardly see you can hardly see white on that color so let's have contrast click on color overlay here right and uh, use this color click ok looking more like a black color right so you have this here and uh, we're good to go so the last thing i would like to do here is um make a snapshot of this ctrl alt shift and e and what you should do on that filter go to noise and I'm just going to add a little bit of noise to it like this. Right. And um, here you go. This is how I created this. 
inside of photoshop if you've liked this video the only way to support my channel is to make sure you are subscribed and um, you share this video with your friends and your colleagues and uh, anybody who would need this i'll see you in the next video ciao